guys, Lexi here. Okay, so this is just my very few favorite products of 2016. Um, I have shampoo, um, leave-in conditioner, curl serum. <laughs> um, I also have some straightening serums like heat serums. I have face masks. I have um, just different fragrances like uh, scents from Bath and Body Works. Just all around different stuff. So. Okay, so first I'm going to start with my hair care stuff. Um, so since I have blonde hair, I have to use purple shampoo, um, which I have the Bain D Terra, I want to say it's called. Um, this is... Okay. Um, <laughs> it's the Color Enhancing Shampoo and Conditioner. I use both of these. This is all I use in the shower, honestly. Um, I just rub my shampoo on my scalp um I, sometimes i rub it through my ends depending on what i'm doing just because um i don't wash my hair i probably wash it every other day maybe every two or three days it just depends on really what i do with my hair before if it's super oily i mean obviously i shower every day but I don't wash my hair just because I don't want to strip it of its natural oils and so I don't always shampoo the ends of my hair either um, I do just because it is the blonde part like my scalp is brown so um, or my roots are brown and so I just use the purple shampoo to uh, wash my ends sometimes I have purple conditioner which I only use like from the middle of my hair to the ends which is what you're supposed to do and I leave that in for a little bit and I like wash my body or shave and then I'll rinse it out. Um, so yeah, and then also whenever I don't wash my hair that day or if it's looking super oily and I don't have time to wash it that day, um, I use the Suave Dry Shampoo. Um, this honestly saved me in 2016 just because when I would be working all the time or even the past couple months we're working all the time and packing so I don't have time to wash my hair I just do a couple sprays in my roots and I'm good to go um so yeah and then I also have the olive oil leave-in conditioner and the olive oil color shine shield which the leave-in conditioner I spray it all over my hair like I love this stuff I've probably ha I haven't had this very long and I've already used almost all of it um, just because I love it. Like, it just makes my hair super shiny and soft and especially when I straighten it. Like, you can really tell how soft it is. Um, so yeah, I love the olive oil leave-in conditioner and then I have the olive oil sh color shine shield and I use this, um, I mean, I have blonde hair so it's already like pretty much fried but it's okay it's not fried but it like bleaching your hair fries it really bad and so like or dries it out really bad and so I use this whenever I straighten my hair um I never blow dry my hair like ever if I take a shower that morning and I have somewhere to be like at noon then yeah I'll blow dry my hair but I usually never blow dry my hair. I usually never have to do that because I'll take showers at night most of the time and then I'll brush my hair out, um, sleep, have it dry while I sleep, and then in the morning I'll straighten my hair. That's usually what I do, but um, when I do straighten my hair, I section it off into layers and I'll spray this on one layer and then I'll straighten it, brush through it, do another layer, do the same thing. like. I just do it right before I straighten it or sometimes I'll even spray it all over my hair and then section it off spray maybe like one more time before I straighten it um, I just I really hate damaging my hair and so the few times that I do straighten it I love to use this all right next I have I think this is my last nope it's not my last hair product okay so next I have um, Regis Design Line Curl Lock Leave-In Moisturizer, which you can actually buy this online. My salon um, closed, so anytime I'm going to use this, I'll have to buy it online now. Um, this was actually $11 for this little container, and um, 
it's definitely worth the price. Um, I'm not sure if you consider that pricey or not because I know there's a lot more pricey stuff. But um, Coral Lock Leave-In Moisturizer. So I just do a couple of squirts on my hand. I'll rub it in and I'll just like scrunch my hair, which I'm going to do a hair care routine next. So you'll actually see that um, in there. You'll also see my shampoo and my leave-in conditioner and how I use that. Um, so yeah, and then my last hair product is Organics Coconut Oil Weightless Hydrating Mist. And since this is an oil, I don't use it that much. Um, well, I use it every time I uh, wash my hair but I don't spray that much on my hair just because I don't want it to be super greasy and if I do I'll only spray it on the ends maybe a couple of squirts or a couple sprays each side and that's all I do with that so next I'm going to talk about my face and body products um since I can't really use fragranced body wash because my skin is so sensitive um I don't really have much body wash to show you. Um, all I have is this face and body mask from Lush. And this is the mask of Magnamenti. I think that's how you say it. I'm probably completely butchering that. But I love it. It smells so good. It smells like mint. And it's super thick and rich. So it like makes your skin so soft. And it looks like this and it's just it's so thick and like I, ha I have nails and so I put on a glove so that way I wouldn't get under my nails to rub it in and but it still worked the same obviously and um I just I, I love Lush honestly like Lush is so good I would have okay so I would have their um purple shampoo to daddy -o, but it's just so expensive that's the only problem but I probably will try it out after I get rid of these I'll probably buy a bottle of it I just really wish they had a shampoo bar with it that'd be so cool just because it's so much cheaper but you still get like the same uses out of it if not more but yeah and then my last skin product well, not skin product. I have lotion too, but face and body, or face. This is a face mask. It's a charcoal mask. It's, uh, I bought this one off of, off of, offline, and I love it, but I hate it. it. It hurts so bad to peel off of my skin. Oh my gosh, I wanted to cry. I mean, granted, it did leave me with super soft skin, but it just hurts so bad. I do recommend this if you have a high pain tolerance or if you have a lot of blackheads because I still have blackheads on my nose that um, I haven't used this in a while so I'm probably going to try it again later um, and I might even film a video of it, who knows, but this just hurts so bad honestly to peel off but I was really pleased with the results, like I was really pleasantly surprised and it just, it made my skin super soft, made all my blackheads go away, like it was kind of nasty to look at though, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I'll probably film a video of that too. So next I have my fragrances or like, perf I have body spray and lotion. And these are both different scents from Bath and Body Works. Um, they're both pretty much fall or winter or holiday themed scents. Um, this is ginger gingerbread latte, which I love this scent. It just smells so good. They both smell like lattes. They both have that in the name, but it is, it smells so good. Like, this is probably, like, my favorite perfume, and I still use this. I might start using a different one, um, just because it is coming up to spring, so I might use a different one. Um, and then I have this nourishing hand cream, um, with shea butter and vitamin E, and it's marshmallow pumpkin latte, and this also smells so good. Um, they're also, like, they're pretty similar in the scent like they're vi they're both similar but they are also different like you can tell the differences but like they have the same base basically like they're both latte themed so of course they're gonna have sorry about my dog barking in the background but um yeah it just it smells so good they both do yeah. all right so I hope you guys enjoyed that video um I actually made a video of this 
probably a week ago, but I lost the footage after I edited. I was so mad. Before I even uploaded, I lost it. I was, I finished editing and it was super late, so I was going to upload it the next day. I woke up and I don't know what happened, but I lost the footage. I was so mad. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to upload a hair care routine next. So if you want to see that, just subscribe below and you'll see it when I put it up. <laughs> also, don't forget to thumbs up and let me know any other products you loved of 2016 and I'll give them a try. Alright, bye guys.